Current income. Current income is an owner's equity income. Incomes always increase my owner's equity. And there we can see that it increases on the credit side. So that is why I am posting it here. Uh, it is the 30th once again. What is my contra account going to be? My contra account is going to be bank because that's the other account that um, it was entered into. And then the amount, uh, that's the one that we needed to correct, is 15071. That is the correct total. 15071. Right. So here is my credit. Can anybody tell me where my debit for this amount is? If you said bank, you are correct. So my debit was included in this amount. Okay. Right. Now we've posted all of these columns, but now we still have sundry. We have one sundry entry. Remember, sundry entries are posted to the general ledger on the specific date that they happened. And we can see that this rent income was received on the 30th. Okay. Rent income, also classified as owner's equity income. Incomes always increase my owner's equity on the credit side. So I am going to make this entry here. It was from the sundries, but it happened excuse me, to be on the 30th. My contra account is still bank from the CRJ and the amount there was 15071. All right, so now we have completed our CRJ um, postings. I just want to do an overall summary for you here quickly. Just a little... Um, I don't know if you want to learn it like this or try and remember it like this. It's, it's quite a nice, nice little thing. So when posting from CRJ to the general ledger, these rules apply. Okay, so I told you that for every debit, there has to be a credits. Okay, so when posting from the CRJ to the general ledger, we are going to debit the account bank with the word total receipts. Okay, so I just want to draw this roughly for you over here. So my bank general ledger will be debited with the word total receipts from the CRJ obviously and then whatever your bank total is that amount will go there so we are going to debit bank and then we will credit all other accounts credit all other accounts except cost of sales. Okay, I'll show this one to you now. So all the other accounts in this um, ledger, oh, sorry, journal. Um, so in other words, sales, current income. And then my last one was rent income. Okay, all of these accounts are owner's equity incomes. Okay, so they all increase my owner's equity. Okay, so I said to you here, when posting from the CRJ, we are going to debit bank with the word total receipt and credit all other accounts with the word bank except for cost of sales. I'll show you now what to do with cost of sales. Let's just do the credit for all the other accounts. So all of these accounts are then going to go, um, the word bank is going to go on the credit side with whatever the amount for that column is or that entry. So sales will go on the credit side or with 7,106. Current income, credit side 15,071. And then rent income, 
650. And then my contra account for all of those will be bank. Right, so now what do we do with cost of sales? So as I've said before, cost of sales is a non-cash item. It has nothing to do with bank. Cost of sales is married to trading stock. So now what do I do with these two accounts? Cost of sales is an owner's equity expense and trading stock is an asset. Okay, and then that's where they increase and decrease. So um, cost of sales is an expense. Expenses can never increase your owner's equity. So you can never make an entry on the credit side of the cost of sales column or ledger because it's just impossible, it's an expense. It decreases my owner's equity. So we will debit cost of sales with the word trading stock and then this amount over here, whatever this column says, cost of sales, that total will then go on the debit side of cost of sales with the contra account trading stock. So there's my debits. For every debit, there has to be a credit. So trading stock on the credit side, the contra account will be cost of sales with the same amount of my cost of sales column, 5,329 Rand. Okay, so there's a little summary for you. When posting from your CRJ to the general ledger, obviously the first thing you have to do is your opening balances. Then we will always debit bank with the word total receipts. So we can see there we have debited bank with the word total receipts. And then all the other accounts except cost of sales will go on the credit side and the wording will be bank with whatever that column's total is. So then now what do we do with cost of sales? Cost of sales will be debited with the word trading stock with this amount, this column's total. And then trading stock will be credited with the same amount. Please take note of this contra account wording. In trading stock, my contra account is cost of sales. And in cost of sales, my contra account is trading stock. We can never ever put the name of the account in the account. So I cannot write in cost of sales, cost of sales, and in trading stock, trading stock, in bank, bank, etc. Right. Um, I will make video six, which will be my CPJ, because this one is quite long already. Um, so hope that helped. Please um, send me a message if you have any queries or questions. I will be happy to answer them.